Hello everyone. Welcome to happymath.com. So this time we will discuss about the calculated mean, population variance, and the standard deviation using those following data. Okay, let's look at this question. So calculated mean, population variance, and the standard deviation of following population data 69, 86, 68, 93, and 73. The last time we did sample uh, using the sample data and the find the mean, variance, and standard deviation. So this time we will do using the population. There's the only difference here. Okay, then you need to know difference between the population and sample. Do you know what population means? Yes, the population means entire data. Okay, so whatever you choose any data group, you are counting everything. That's the population. So this time, um, 6986, 6893, 73. Only those data are our population collection data. Okay? So same thing with the sample data. You're organizing this. Because this is small number of data, you don't have to make either ascending or descending order. That's the reason I also organize as following data set. Like uh, 69, 86, 68, 93, and 73. Okay, so let's find the mean first. So this time we are finding population means. So population mean notation is mu, okay? So the last time we did x bar, which is sample mean, right? So don't be confused. X bar represents always sample mean, but this time we are, we are doing population mean, so you must use mu. Okay. But the procedure is exactly the same. You are adding all this data. So 69 plus 86 plus 68 plus 93 plus 73 over one two three four five so divide by five okay so just calculate so then you will get 389 divided by five so this value become 77.8 the first answer, the mean value become 77.8. So like last times, so let's find the mean deviation. So this time, this is the population data. So we are subtracting each data minus population mean. So the first blank become 69 minus 77.8. Then what do you get? So I got negative 8.8. .8. Yeah, so please do the same procedure for 86, 68, 93, and 73. Then you will get this amount. Okay, so next step, you're finding mean deviation square. So the how to find it? You multiply this value twice. Okay, so the first blank becomes negative 8.8 .8 times negative 8.8. .8. Be careful, you must multiply negative 8.8 .8 times negative 8.8. .8. Then this correct answer becomes 77.44. If you get this answer, negative 77.44, then you calculate negative 8.8 .8 square. 
that represent negative 1 times 8.8 square. That's why you got incorrect answer. You must uh, type negative 8.8 .8 times negative 8.8. .8, okay? So that's a key to calculate correctly. So please do the same procedure and you will get this amount. Okay? So then, uh, the next, uh, uh, next step is you combine this last column. Okay? So combine all this data. So 77.44 plus 67.24 plus 96.04 plus 231.04 plus 23.04. Then you get 494.8. Okay? But that's not the answer yet. Please be careful. Let's be patient a little bit. Okay, so now, uh, the formula to calculate the population variance. The notation is sigma square, that is, sum of x minus mu square divided by the population overall data set. Okay? So, this becomes, so remember, we calculate this value already, which is 494.8. So, 494.8, then how many number of data? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, divide by 5. Okay? Then you got 98.8. 96. That's the, your, the population, the variance. So second answer, the variance becomes 98.96. Okay. The last one, the population, the standard deviation. So notation is sigma, which is square root sigma square. That also represents square root, the sum of x minus mu square over n. Okay, so we have this amount, which is 98.6, 96. Therefore, you can simply rewrite this, square root 98.96. 6. Okay. Then what do you get? The answer becomes 9.95. That will be your population standard deviation. So I'm going to fill into the, the blank here. So 9.95. Okay. So we found everything here. So population mean, the population standard uh, population the variance, also the population the standard deviation. So as you if you uh, watch uh, the sample data set video, then you can see very similarities and also differences. But the steps are mostly the same. Okay? So please remember that. The formula is a little bit different here. The population case we divide by n, not n minus one. That's the key point you distinguish between the sample and the population. Anyway, I really hope this uh, video helps you to understand the calculated mean, population variance, and the standard deviation using the mean deviation method. And then I'm going to see you with a different video. Okay? Bye!